Okay, today's lecture is about pivot table. So pivot table is, first of all, you should have your data arranged in, um, into, again, we have the date, time, the, the data is humidity, temperature, wind speed, car and truck traffic, wind direction, NOx, and PM 2.5 pollution, air pollution. The other side, we calculate month, season, and weekday, and type of day. So how we did the calculation for this guy. So if you look at the screen on the side, for month we used like this is in K2, this is in L2, this is in M2, and the last one is, is N2. So you need to go to cell of K2, type in this equation, L2 this equation, uh, M2 this equation, and then N2 this equation. So this will give you uh, the month, this will give you the season, give you the weekday, the, the last one will give you this is the weekend or weekday. So now what we want to do from this point on is the fact that we want to we wanna, we wanna use the pivot table to summarize the data. So how we summarize the data using pivot table, this guy is annoying, okay perfect. Now what you do is first of all go to somewhere on your sheet and hit control A. So this will select all of your data. So before we do any activity, we want to analyze all the data together. So control A. So once you did control A, click go on the top insert and then click on pivot table on the uh, left side of your screen. So pivot table, this will bring us to a sheet that's saying that, okay, you want to use this range starting from like A1 all the way to N104 and then do it in a new worksheet. That's the default a new worksheet, you can just leave it there and then press OK. Once you press OK, you would come into a completely new environment. So I want to explain what are this. In the, like again, if I navigate away from pivot table, I'm going to lose all this on the side, right? So you have to go and click on pivot table, then you can see everything on the side. By chance, if you lost them, you, you want to bring them back, you want to bring this menu back you can we have like field list we have buttons we have field headers so you can actually click on any of this this will bring it back like field list if i click it it's going to go away if i click on it it would, would come back so i want to explain to you what you will see here so um, i want to go to the board again and then explain to you on the board So in one side of the Excel, you can see something called pivot table. So all the table will be created in this side. Okay, the table will be created in this side. In the other side where we have the field list. So what we have there? Uh, in there we have um, like field, pivot table fields. We need to choose the field. So say that choose field and then we have a bunch of like different data that we have. We have date, we have time and then going all the way down in here we have four categories. So we have we have filters where you can filter the data. So we have filters here. We have columns. We have rows and we have values. So let me go back to the screen and show you. So down here I have filters, I have columns, I have, just to increase the light slightly. Okay, I have the columns and I have the values and rows. So what are these things? Now, if you want to summarize the data, so for instance, you are looking for, you have to think about different scenarios before you do anything. So I'm thinking about this scenario. I'm thinking about, I want to find the average of car traffic with respect to time, All right? This is the question I want to answer. I want to see how the traffic of car changes with every hour of the day, like in a 24 hour, how the car traffic look like. Now, what I'm gonna do is that all I need to do 
is I want to click on the car and drag it to the values. Remember, to answer these questions, you have to think what you want to do the average. So you want to do the average of car traffic. So car needs to go to, to values. So I need to drag the car, bring it to values. Now time, I want to do like, I want to answer one question. The time with respect to time, time needs to go to the rows. So let's do that. So go back to the Excel file and then click on the car, drag this to the values. Okay. Go into the time and drag the time to the rows. Very easy. Now what is happening it's giving me sum of car I'm not interested in sum of car I'm, I'm interested in average of car so if you click on the arrow on the side so the side of values there is the arrow click on that arrow value field setting and change the setting from sum to average bingo I got something here again for us it's so hard to look into the data the pivot give us something easy called pivot chart so where I can get pivot chart the simply is here click on pivot chart Again, I'm more of interested in the line chart and bingo. So what are these data? This data is showing us the car traffic in every hour, the average of the whole year. So lots of calculation are going on into pivot table. But this makes our job so easy if you have big data and you want to report those data, like how the car traffic look like, how the truck traffic look like. How do you look like with different hours? You can just simply do all things with one click. So the second question I want to answer, I want to answer, okay, you draw the traffic for, uh, you draw the traffic car with respect to time. I want to know it with respect to different day of week. Like for instance, how it look like in Sunday, how it look like in Monday, how it look like in every day of week and with respect to hours. So let me just to switch you to the screen. What do I mean? I want to know the car traffic right so this is going to be the counts the counts i mean i mean traffic counts or car counts whatever you want to call it car traffic and this is going to be different hours like for instance it would be hour one two all the way to 24. um I, I like for instance i already know that the car traffic look like this now i want to know it with respect to difference so for instance this is average of every day i want to know it how it looked like in sunday how it looked like in monday and then again, what is happening is that we want to add columns to this or we want to add legends. We want to add series to this. So now when we want to add series to this, you need to do is uh, again, go back to pivot table and drag the weekday to column. So if I drag the weekday to column, I want to create, I can create, I can answer my question. So let's do that. So go into here find the weekday and drag it to legends or series and bingo so the, the, the actually the graph that we created right now is showing us with respect to different days for instance uh, one was Sunday if you remember two was Monday three was Tuesday again if you are not interested in these types of category you can use the text and then you can you can do analysis more but what you could see you could see like a sharp morning peak every day which look very similar and then Sunday and Saturday there is low traffic because people are not traveling and they go to shopping around 10 a.m. 11 a.m. and you have even in midday you have more traffic on the weekend so uh, this, professor yeah give me a second I just uh, don't do what my recording so then uh, I'm done with the car traffic so this was one example of pivot chart